and happy Sunday to y'all. Look, I hope y'all having a good Sunday so far and mine is going good. But I know you probably asked. That's why I went ahead and told you. But look, let's start with the housekeeper stuff. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also hit that bell to be notified. So when I come on the scene, you'll go to the thing the same day and stuff and stuff. But look, y'all, today we got a real good meal. It's easy, real easy for Sunday dinner. This is what we eat for Sunday dinner. This is called Easy Ziti. We're using this Ziti. Easy baked ziti. We're using these right here, okay? And if you can't find ziti, you can use penne noodles. It don't matter. But look, look in the pan. I already done started it off because I know you busy. You got to do some stuff on Sunday and stuff. I hope y'all doing okay today. It started out real cold here in Tennessee, but it's warming up a little bit. But look, I got two pounds of ground beef. Now, you don't have to use two pounds of ground beef. You can use a pound a ground beef and a pound of mild sausage or whatever you want to use okay you can use well let me let me start over you can use a pound of ground beef and a pound of mild sausage or you can just use two pounds of ground beef okay let's say it like that but i'm grinding her up like so and also what you're going to use is, this is a, a onion. Of course you know that. I chopped the onion up. <laughs> We're going to put that in there. Put that onion in there. And we're going to put like a tablespoon of garlic in in a second. I'm going to let this get started real good. Let it get started real good. And if you want to, you can cook your onion first and then put your meat in there. It don't matter. I just do it like this. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Some people might not season their meat. You don't have to, but I season my meat on everything, okay? So, I'm going to put some complete seasoning in there. No particular measurements, you know, just whatever. Whatever you want to do, okay? And then, we're going to put some seasoned salt in there. Put that in there. All right. And some uh, tonies in there. We're going to put that tonies in there. Y'all know y'all want to make these little quick meals because Thanksgiving cook, uh, coming up and you ain't trying to be slaving and you got a slave on Thanksgiving. So, you know, I ain't cooking Thanksgiving, so I get to chill. <laughs> My mama cooking. So, yeah, y'all. But I'm going to be watching out for everybody who cooking. I want to see them delicious plates and stuff. See them delicious plates. So this is cooking up. I'm going to let this go ahead and fry up. It's taking its time. So I'm going to uh, fry this up and then I'm going to uh, drain the grease off and I'm going to be back and show you what's next. Hold on, hold on. Let me go and put this so you can see I'm doing it because you, you know how y'all do. Y'all be trying to make me forget. I'm going to put that tablespoon of garlic in there. You know how y'all be trying to make me forget? And then y'all come back and laugh at me. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and let that cook up, and I'm going to show you what's next, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Now it's all brown, as you can see. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put our uh, good little sauces in there. I got some uh, fire-roasted diced garlic. I'm going to put in there. Put it in there. And I got like 24 ounces of ragu marinara sauce. I'm going to put it in there. And you can put a little more sauce if you want to. Get all that out of there. Get all of it. If you want to put a little water in there and swish it around, you can, but I'm not. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. Okay. I'm going to mix this in. So I'm going to mix it in. Okay, and also what I'm going to do, because uh, I'm going to put a little sugar in there to cut back on the acidity on there. Put a little sugar. It ain't going to make it sweet, trust me. Trust me, girl. It ain't going to make me, it ain't going to make it sweet. It ain't going to make it sweet. And we're just going to let this simmer for a little bit. You know, get all that seasonings together and let it marinate together. 
Ooh, that smell good. We're gonna let this uh start uh sizzling a little bit and let it marinate, and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna show you how we gonna make this cheese sauce for the noodles. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna let this marinate for a little bit. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Look at look at this meat sauce. Huh? 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 Do you see her? Look at the meat sauce, though. Oh. Oh, look at her. Okay. But look, we're going to put her to the side. We're going to put her to the side. Because we're going to work on this cheese sauce. So, look. This is, we're going to use like 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. So, it's about half of this big tub. Okay. Ricotta cheese. Okay, this is a mixture of cheese. This is a uh, a pound and a half, uh, no, no, a cup and a half of um, mozzarella cheese and a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. We're gonna put that in now. Okay. Then we got one egg. We're gonna put that in now. And we're gonna season this thing up. I'm gonna put some black pepper in there. And you just put how much you want. Okay, season to your own, how your family like it. Put a little seasoned salt. And I'm gonna put some Italian seasoning in there. Or you, you could choose not to put seasoning at all if you want to. I'm gonna put some oregano in there. This is real quick, easy, and it tastes delicious. Like, you know, of course the holidays coming up, you ain't trying to be slaving over the stove. And we just gonna stir this up. Stir it up. Get that elbow in there. Okay. And then the, uh, we already done cooked the noodles, the ziti noodles. We already done cooked them. We're going to add that in there. And you want to uh, cook it out. Well, don't cook it all the way because you're going to bake it. So I cooked it for about eight minutes. Okay, let me stir that up first. And got a little dry and stuff. Also, what I like to do, I like to add a, like a spoonful of that meat sauce. I'm put this over there because I don't want to spill it. I like to add a spoonful of that meat sauce in there to help keep it juicy. <laughs> we want to keep it juicy. Because you see how it was looking all dry and junk? We don't want that. I'm gonna put that off in there. Stir that in. Get all that cheese and mixture off in there. Yes. Look at them. Look at them. Quit playing. Quit playing with me on this Sunday. <laughs> Quit playing. All right, we're gonna stir this off in there. I'm gonna put like one more little spoon in there. Keep it juicy, that's the theme today. Keep it juicy. <laughs> Keep it juicy. That's the, that's the, oh shoot girl, you made me spill a little bit. You made me, ooh, girl. You know, food is high these days. That's like five dollars worth of food that came out. Hold on. That's like five dollars worth of food. <laughs> Day. Let's move that over here. Okay. She almost ready. Okay. 
Now we finna get ready to lay it. Okay, y'all, we gonna basically kinda layer this like a lasagna. We are gonna put like, we are gonna first base it with some of the meat sauce so it won't stick. Like so. Like that. Okay. Then we're gonna put down some of our cheesy pasta mixture. Like that. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Gonna push that down like that. Y'all, this is so good, I'm telling you. It look crazy or something, but it's good. It's good. Boom, okay. We're gonna throw a little bit of mozzarella, mozzarella cheese on top. Throw a little mozzarella cheese on top. Like so. Then we're going to put some more meat sauce. Put some of that meat sauce. Get it in the corners. Like that. Look at them. Mm-hmm. You see her? You see her. Quit playing. Acting like you don't see this. Like that. Then we're gonna put this some more of this cheesy ziti on there. Ooh, quit playing with her. Quit playing with her. Who? I like that. I like that, baby. I like that. <laughs> like that. Get some of that off in them corners. This is a wonderful potluck. If you at work, you know, if you're still in the work field, you know, that's a wonderful potluck. We're going to use the rest of this meat sauce. Why not? We still got some. We still got some. We ain't going to let that go to waste. No baby. No baby. No baby. <laughs> We're going to use that meat sauce. That little corner. Boom. Yes, I'm scraping. I'm scraping all that. Okay, then we're going to use the rest of the mozzarella cheese and put it on top. Gorgeous. She gorgeous. Ooh, I spilled about three dollars worth of cheese right there. <laughs> mm. Get the rest of that right there, and we're gonna preheat your your oven to three seventy five. And we're going to cook her for about 25, 30 minutes. I'm going to put some parsley on her. You know she make her look cute. She make her look cute. She make her look cute with that little green dress on. 
Okay, so we're gonna put this in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna show you how she look plated. I'll be right back. Look at them. I'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back and I'm finished with this easy bake ziti, y'all. When I tell you, if you ain't trying to stress and cook some, you know, easy, I know you probably cook some bologna sandwiches, you know, for dinner or something, you know, leading up to Thanksgiving, because you ain't trying to be, you know, cooking a lot of stuff and spending a lot of money. But this baked ziti is real cheap too, girl, and it tastes real good. Check this baked ziti out. Check her out. Look at her. Ain't she cute? Get close up on that thing. I want them to be able to taste a little bit of it, just a little bit. Cause we gotta have some for our family too, cause groceries high as crap. They didn't get them trucks out there bringing these groceries up in here so they could cut that back on these doggone prices. It's high. You see? Look at her. Do you see her? She cute. <laughs> she is cute. But y'all, y'all see it take long at all. You can make it for Sunday dinner, Saturday dinner. It don't matter. Whatever day of the week is real quick and easy, y'all. But yeah, again. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, hit that bell to be notified. Most of all, please stay safe out there, y'all, in this holiday season and stuff. And please stay safe. Watch your purse and stuff, you know, and all of scamming and junk stalking, you know, go on and stuff. Watch your purse. Keep your purse close by you or just take your little cards with you and your money with you. Put it in your Brazil or something, you know, just be safe out there. It's getting crazy, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you feel like the little uh, machine that you scan your car with, it, you know, check and see if it's loose or something. You know, it's that time of season. People are starting to scam. Damn. But yeah, y'all, <laughs> I love y'all. Please stay safe out there. And I will see y'all again next time. Bye-bye.